Ukraine's Aussie and American vampire SAMs obliterate Russian attack drones. So what happens when you smash together advanced laser-guided rockets, flatbed trucks, and some good old-fashioned ingenuity? You get the Vampire Surface-to-Air Missile System, or as I like to call it, the Drone Slayer 9000. And let me tell you, it's sending Russian attack drones straight to their digital afterlife. The Vampire SAM is a joint creation from American company L3 Harris and British company BAE Systems using Australian company EOS gimbals. It just might be the best combination since peanut butter and chocolate. Mmm, Reese's. Hey friends, Wes O'Donnell here, Army Infantry Veteran for six years, an Air Force Veteran for four years, and Yanam Noga Gover Yuporuski. And I promise you, this is not an Australian military channel, even though it might seem that way lately. Now, Ukraine's Vampire Sam should not be confused with Ukraine's Vampire Drone, which Russian troops have started calling Baba Yaga after the mythical Slavic witch. The Vampire Drone can carry a payload of up to 15 kilograms, about 33 pounds, and can travel up to 10 kilometers at speeds of up to 120 kilometers per hour. Its battery allows a flight time of about 25 minutes with a load of Russian nightmare juice. Because of their ability to sneak up on Russian armor at night and their large payload capacity, Ukrainian soldiers primarily use the Vampire Drone to target Russian tanks. Interestingly, the Vampire Drone seems somewhat immune from Russian jamming efforts. But talking about the Vampire Drone is a video for the future. Back to the Vampire Sam. So if the Vampire Drone is offensive, the Vampire Sam is defensive. Now, Ukraine has had this SAM system since mid-2023, but now a newly released video from the Ukrainian Navy shows just how effective this system is. We're talking about eight confirmed drone interceptions, and that's just the footage we've seen. It's like watching a highlight reel of the Ukrainian Defense Forces saying, not today, Tovarish. So what exactly is this magical contraption? Officially, it's L3 Harris's Vehicle Agnostic Modular Palletized ISR Rocket Equipment, or Vampire, for short. This compact system is mounted on a flatbed truck or any vehicle with small flat surface, and it's armed with laser-guided rockets from the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, or the APKWS. These rockets were originally designed for air-to-ground strikes by U.S. forces, but now they've found a new calling popping Russian drones out of the sky like overripe grapes. What's that? I'm being told I've reached my metaphor limit for this video. The Vampire features a sensor ball for targeting, four APKWS launchers, and a price tag that doesn't make accountants break into a cold sweat. Precision? Check. Mobility? Check. Affordability? Big check. It's like uh, the budget smartphone of missile defense systems, except it obliterates drones instead of scrolling tickety-tock. And let's not forget the secret sauce, the EOS AS-65 gimbal from Australia. This bad boy provides unmatched accuracy and stabilization for the Vampire. It's lightweight, versatile, and make sure those laser-guided rockets hit their targets with pinpoint precision. The EOS AS-65 gimbal is actually the same component that makes the Slinger lightweight 30mm cannon lethal. Australia donated multiple Slinger systems to Ukraine in 2023, and you can see my video on that awesome system linked on the end card. But to give you an idea how accurate EOS gimbals are, Electro-Optical Systems made its name way before the Ukraine war, tracking space debris in orbit down to objects as small as a few millimeters. That's the precision we're dealing with here. In fact, EOS just might be the best drone-killing defense contractor on the planet, Australian or otherwise. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. EOS gimbals have been so successful, they've become a staple of Ukraine's defense strategy. They've even outfitted Bushmaster armored vehicles with more than 40 remote weapon systems, courtesy of Australia. Crikey! The Bushmaster is a mine-resistant, ambush-protected MRAP vehicle designed by Thales Australia. Picture this, a vehicle that can shrug off small arms fire, resist the deadly force of IEDs, 
and keep troops safe while navigating the unpredictable terrain of war zones. Ukraine has received at least 120 Bushmasters as part of Australia's military assistance packages, and trust me, they're putting them to good use. In the brutal urban warfare of Bakhmut, these vehicles were credited with saving lives under relentless Russian artillery bombardment. One Ukrainian commander called the Bushmaster a warrior's guardian angel, which is a pretty glowing endorsement if you ask me. These vehicles have also been spotted in high-stakes evacuation missions, getting wounded soldiers out of harm's way under fire. It's not flashy work, but it's vital. I tried to buy one and park it in my driveway, but my HOA wasn't having it. As soon as I get my hands on a picture of a Ukrainian Bushmaster with a vampire mounted on it, I'll share it in the community post here on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe. Smooth, right? Back to the vampire, Sam. The AS-65 pairs up beautifully with BAE Systems' APKWS rockets, creating a match made in drone hunting heaven. These 2.75-inch diameter rockets can take down Class 3 unmanned aerial systems at various speeds and altitudes, all while minimizing collateral damage because of their lower yield. The weapon bridges the gap between the Hydra 70 and the AGM-114 Hellfire systems, and provides a cost-effective method of knocking out drones. Each rocket costs somewhere in the neighborhood of 20,000 quid, but I'm pretty sure Ukraine gets the friends and family discount. I mean free. The APKWS rockets themselves are a design conversion of Hydra 70 unguided rockets with a laser guidance kit that turn them into precision guided munitions or PGMs. APKWS is approximately one third the cost and one third the weight of the current inventory of US laser guided weapons. EOS is handling integration and support for the Vampire system from its US facility in Huntsville, Alabama. This isn't their first rodeo either. They've been supplying cutting edge remote weapon systems globally, including a massive contract with Ukraine for up to 150 units. In fact, EOS has been so busy, they've had to open a new production line in Canberra just to keep up with demand. Talk about job security. Bottom line, the vampire is more than just an overly complicated acronym. It's a changer of the game. It gives Ukraine a powerful, low-cost defense option against the swarm of drones Russia has been deploying. With pinpoint accuracy, a mobile setup, and a price that's easier to swallow than traditional missile systems, the vampire is proving that sometimes the best defense is rocket science. Watching the amount of counter-drone tech evolve before our very eyes on the battlefields of Ukraine has been fascinating. War has a way of accelerating battlefield innovations. As drones have proliferated, we've seen an equal amount of counter-drone systems rise up to counter the threat. Russia is fond of brute force electronic warfare that hurts them as much as it combats Ukrainian drones. On the Ukrainian side, its counter-drone efforts seem much more kinetic using computer or AI-assisted targeting to hit Russian drones with projectiles, like the German Skynex, the Australian Slinga, or the multinational Vampire. The challenge here is that Ukraine needs more. More of everything. More Slingers, more Vampires, more soft recoil technology artillery. In the West, we need to stop treating Ukrainian battlefields as a prototype proving ground and get them the tools they need to win the fight. That's my rant for the day. Thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed geeking out over military tech as much as I did, then hit that like button and subscribe for more. It really helps the channel grow. Advance Australia. And as always, glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes. Slava Ukraini.